Hello everybody, it's Harsh here from Enterprise DNA. In today's video, we are going to see how we can calculate the percentages in a hierarchical form. In the past, we have already showcased about how to calculate the percentages for each line item, that is, dividing total sales for each line item with the overall aggregated sales and thereby we get the percentage of total sales for each line item. But how do we calculate it when it is present in the form of a hierarchical nature? That is, hierarchy created in the form of category, subcategory and so on and so forth. So let's see how we calculate the percentages in a hierarchical form. So here in the matrix, we have created a hierarchy of rows. The first level of hierarchy contains the territory from regions table, whereas the second level of hierarchy contains the product name from the products table. So here we have the percentage of total sales for each territory. That is, total sales for each territory is getting divided by the overall aggregated sales. But now, when we move down to the next hierarchy, we will see that the percentage of total sales for each product is getting evaluated or getting divided by the total sales of that particular category that is the total sales of product 1 getting divided by the overall total sales of New South Wales territory same goes for product 2 and so on and so forth so let's see how do we write the formula from scratch and evaluate it step by step so before we start writing the formula from scratch, let's first remove the measure of percentage of total sales from the matrix. And now let's create a new formula called as percentage of total sales 2. Inside this, we will first create a variable for total sales which calculates the total sales for each individual line item variable total sales and we have already created the measure for total sales now let's call this variable under the written statement let's bring this measure so, so far, everything is working as expected. Now we will create two variables. The first variable will help us to calculate the overall total sales for all the territories which are there inside that region. And the second variable will help us to calculate the overall total sales for all the products that are being sold inside that particular territory. So let's go ahead and create those two variables. Let's start with the calculate total sales. And now we will call out the all selected function and reference the regions table since all the territories are being coming from the regions table. Let's use the same logic for the product calculation as well. Let's change the variable name. And change the table reference as well. So now let's check out the results of our variables which we have created for territory 
as well as for products. So let's call out these variables under the written statement. Let's drill up. And as we can see that for each and every territory, we are getting the grand total results, which is as expected. Now let's check out the results for the product wise as well, which we should get the results as per each individual territory for all the products. Let's hit enter. Let's drill down. And now we are getting the results of each territory for against all the products. So now let's go ahead with our process. So now we will create the two sets of variables which will help us in calculating the percentages for territory wise as well as for the product wise. So let's write that variable. Use the divide function. We'll divide our total sales with the total sales of territory and the alternative result should be zero. Same goes for the products as well. Let's change the variable name. And the variable reference as well. So now we will define our final variable which will be the results variable. It will contain a switch true statement and the condition will be if it's a territory then we want a result to be a percentage of territory. If it's a product name then we want the results to be a percentage of product wise. Otherwise we want results to be as percentage of territory wise. The reason being is we also want to show our grand totals to be 100%. So let's go ahead and define our final variable. Here we will use a function called isInScope. isInScope function is a boolean function which returns a value in the form of true or false. That is, it returns the result as true when the specified column is in the level of hierarchy. So let's use that function. product name then we want our results to be percentage of product wise in the case of territory we want our results to be percentage of territory wise or else our results should be Territory wise. Let's bring the results variable under the written statement. Let's format our results in the percentage format. Let's check the results. So, as we can see, we are getting the expected results. So, finally, let's see what happens when we change the order of our condition inside the switch true statement. Let's see what happens.
let's see the results and as we can see the results are actually not correct the reason being is if we evaluate or if we divide our 3 million of total sales for product 1 with the 60 million of total sales for New South Wales we should be getting around 5% as a result but rather we are seeing the results as 34% so what happened here as we know that since DAX calculates or evaluates the innermost context first and then moves towards the outermost context and therefore in the case of hierarchies as well our order of condition also needs to be arranged accordingly and since in this case our product's name are located at a lower level in the hierarchy they will go first as a condition and since the territories are in the upper level of a hierarchy or in the first level of hierarchy they will go last so let's change the order of our condition again to back to normal and check the results for the final time and now we are getting the results as expected I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.